In 1942, the United States Supreme Court held in Chaplinsky v. New Hampshire that the First Amendment didn't protect fighting words intended to incite others to violence. But just what are fighting words? Thirty years after Chaplinsky, the court considered that question in Gooding v. Wilson. Johnny Wilson and others picketed outside a United States Army building in Atlanta, Georgia, protesting the Vietnam War. When a group of recruits arrived at the building, the protesters blocked the entrance. Police attempted to clear the doorway, but a scuffle ensued. Wilson repeatedly called one officer a, quote, son of a bitch, unquote, and threatened to kill the officer or cut him to pieces. Wilson was convicted in state court of violating a statute that prohibited the use of opprobrious words or abusive language to cause a breach of the peace. The Supreme Court of Georgia affirmed his conviction. Wilson then sought habeas relief in federal court. The district court held that the Georgia statute was unconstitutionally vague and set aside Wilson's conviction. The Court of Appeals affirmed, and the state of Georgia appealed to the United States Supreme Court.